In the 21st century, you cannot afford not to share your knowledge. And on Anchor, everyone gets a platform. Build yours today with the free podcast creator accessible from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and more. Earn money with no minimum listenership. Anchor's all you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's anchor.fm to get started. Build your platform today. God, praise God and hallelujah, hallelujah, beloved of the Lord, beloved of the Lord, thank you for joining me on this new Royal Bride Godmother podcast episode titled for the Shulamite series, titled, Come Away With Me. Have you ever heard that beautiful song by that lovely jazz singer named Nora Jones? Come away with me in the night. Come away with me and I will Can we get it in the spirit? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is saying, come away with me, come away with me. But before we begin with this beautiful, beautiful, romantic episode of our Shulamite series, my name is Grace. I am a life coach minister, prophetess of the Lord. I thank you so much for joining me on this special evening. But if it's morning for you or afternoon... Mm, Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all you beautiful people, beloved people, beautiful people of the Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And prayers for each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon each and every one of you listening, coming in from the north, east, west, and south. You're all coming in. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to your Broil Bride Godmother podcast, the podcast designed by the Holy Ghost to bring you out of the valley of dry bones, to cause you to fly, to soar upon, to mount upon the wings of the Holy Ghost, our goodly darling dove. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's begin. Today, we are covering the Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 8 through 17 today. We will cover that today. So if you could bring out those beautiful holy Bibles of yours, mm, the law of our Lord, hallelujah. Verse 8, verse 8 reads, The voice of my beloved, the voice of my beloved, says verse 8, and it continues. The voice of my beloved, behold, he cometh leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. And the Holy Spirit has highlighted a few words for us here. The skipping and the leaping. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, he reminds us of Luke 1, chapter 1, verses 39 through 43. And we will not read the entire, all the verses there. But essentially, it was John that leapt in Elizabeth's womb as his mother heard Mary's salutation. Mm, And it says that Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Why was that? Verse 42 and verse 43 reveals that the mother says, Elizabeth, the mother of my Lord should come to me. This Elizabeth spoke as she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Listen, beloved, it was the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, who spoke through Elizabeth, calling Mary the mother of my Lord. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit directs us straight to Acts 1.10, verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Hallelujah. 
The Lord said unto my Lord, said King David, Ooh, revealed all revelations of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, praise God. But note that beautiful word that John leapt. Mm. John leapt. And let's look at that again. Behold, behold, he cometh leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. Our beloved bridegroom, mm, hallelujah, make a joyful noise for our Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's continue, let's continue. Because the Holy Spirit reveals Psalm 97.5. If you could look up Psalm 97.5, I have it right here. It says, the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. Listen, the Lord, the Lord's presence, beloved, is there's nothing like it. It overpowers even the mountains, the hills. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the hills melt like wax. Ooh, as his presence skips and leaps about the hills and the mountains. Ooh, hallelujah, praise God. Let's go into verse 9. My beloved is like a roe or a young heart. Behold, he standeth behind our wall. He looketh forth at the windows, showing himself through the lattice. Mm. The Holy Spirit reveals Ezekiel 8, 7. Remember, we covered Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 8. Where it says, And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. God is looking, beloved. Listen, God the Lord is looking. He is seeking those for those who love him. He is looking through the lattice, showing himself through the lattice. Ooh, hallelujah. What will he find when he looks into the secret chambers of your imagery? Just as he showed the prophet Ezekiel, the secret chambers of the imagery of men of the ancients, we're worshiping idols. Oh, what will the Lord find in the secret chambers of your imagery, beloved? Is your heart totally devoted to him? Or are you harboring idols, creeping things in your heart, says the Lord? Are you harboring creeping things and idols in the secret chambers of your imagery? Or have you fully surrendered to your beloved, says the Lord? Hallelujah. There is something to take up with the Lord, beloved of the Lord. Verse 10, my beloved spake and said unto me, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Rise, says the Holy Spirit. Rise, rise, says the Lord, and come unto me, all ye who are heavy laden and burdened, burdened with the religion of man, burdened with the yoke of men. Ooh, come unto the Lord. Come away with me, he says. Rise, rise with he who rose and who raises from the dead. Hallelujah. Rise, 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 says the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 4, verse 11 reads, For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. Verse 12, The flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Hallelujah. Mm. This is such a romantic verse. For springtime is come. Morning is come, beloved. The beloved is risen with the morning. He leaps, he skips, he prances, he's glorified by the Father. He who was dead and now lives forevermore. Hallelujah. Because when Jesus Christ, listen, beloved. The Spirit says, when Jesus Christ, Son of Man, Son of God, arose, that was the beginning. 
beginning of the beginning, beloved. The sun rising, the sun rose that day, the clouds parted, they lifted, the snow melted, the spell of the evil one was destroyed. Hallelujah, praise God. And the fig tree puts forth her green figs with the vines, with the tender grape giving a good smell. Hallelujah. Verse 13, the fig tree put forth her green figs and the vines with the tender grape give a good smell. Figs, grapes, and vines. Listen, this is a very sensual passage. A good smell. Do not get it twisted, beloved. Sensual has everything to do with our senses. And this is a very sensual passage with the green figs ripe and the vines with the tender grapes giving an excellent, a good smell. Hallelujah. Arise, says the Lord, my fair one, my beautiful one, my fair one, my love. Come away, come away, come away. Verse 14 says, Oh, my dove that art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs. Let me see thy countenance. Let me hear thy voice. For sweet is thy voice. Thy countenance is comely. Oh, the Spirit reminds us of the ladder that Jacob saw. Jacob's ladder. The secret places of the stairs. Ooh, the clefts of the rock. Mm, the high places. And let me see thy countenance, the beautiful countenance. Let me hear thy voice. Mm, those secret places, by the way, the prayer closets, hallelujah, with the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is found in the secret places, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah, praise God. Let us hear his sweet voice, that voice that is none other's, none other, no other has the voice like the voice of our beloved. And we as his sheep, we know his voice. Praise God, hallelujah, for sweet, sweet is his voice. Sweet is his voice and his countenance is comely. This is something the beloved is speaking to his love, to his fair one. Oh, but it applies. Remember, we covered that Jesus Christ is the Shulamite as well. Hallelujah, praise God. It covers, it covers him as well. He is our dove. He is our undefiled one. Ooh, hallelujah, praise God. He who dwells in the secret place is the sweetest voice. His name, his name, like sweet ointment poured forth, hallelujah. Is there anything like the countenance of Jesus Christ, hallelujah? Verse 15, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines. For our vines have tender grapes. Beloved, notice something, notice something. The Spirit has pointed out this, this one thing to me. The little foxes and the tender grapes. It is pointed out because of its, because of the fragility of both. Listen, the little foxes is also um, parallel to the young lions that is often used in the word. The young lions and the little foxes. And now we have tender grapes, tender grapes that the little foxes can spoil the vines. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is love. Do not awaken love. Do not stir love. Do not uproot love. Love in its many forms. Do not uproot love, but also beloved, also beloved, do not uproot the fruit of your vine, of your vineyard. Hallelujah. And do not uproot yourselves from your beloved. Receive, reveals the Holy Ghost. Do not uproot yourselves from the beloved. Do not go and plant yourselves in the wilderness. It will not work out. You must be planted next to the rivers, to the river of many waters. Hallelujah. To the fountain of living waters. Do you hear? Do not be like Israel, dwelling in the wilderness and staying in the wilderness and going in circles in the wilderness. Do not plant yourselves in the wilderness. There's nothing for you there, says the Lord. Remain in the vine and take the little foxes that spoil the vine. Hallelujah. Remain in the shadow. Remain in the shadow, under the shadow of your beloved. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 16. My beloved is mine, and I am 
his. He feedeth among the lilies. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. In this verse, the Shulamite is certain. She has found her beloved. He feedeth among the lilies. And she is certain now of his love. Are you certain of yours, says the Lord? Are you certain of my love for you, my darling dove? Are you certain of my love for you, my beloved bride? Are you certain? Or do you hope? Do you have faith as Abraham? Do you have faith as David? Mm, it's a question to ask ourselves individually. Do we say, my beloved is mine, and I am his, and I know where to find him, for where is he? He feedeth among the lilies. Hallelujah. Praise God. Verse 17 reads, until the day break, and the shadows flee away, turn, my beloved, and be thou like a roe or a young heart, Upon the mountains of Bether. Oh, this precious, precious passage. Until the day break, don't you see that with Jesus there is no shadows? With God there is no shadow of turning, but there are no shadows in the presence of the Lord. There is only light, there is only abundance. There is only love and grace and mercy before the throne, before the presence of our almighty King. There is no shadow. For God is not like man. Man, man who does contain shadow of turning. But the Lord, there is no shadow of turning with him. Oh, he is the fountain of light, for he is light. He radiates, he emanates light. He is the light of the world. Hallelujah, praise God. And our Father is called the Father of lights. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved, the Lord is saying, are you dwelling in the light or in the darkness? Are you walking in the light or in the darkness, beloved? Do you sit under the shadow of your Lord? Or do you sit in the shadows of the enemy? Mm, come out of her, my people, says the Lord. Come out of the valley. Ascend to the mountain. Mm, come skipping, come prancing, come dancing as David did. Hallelujah. Come dancing as David did. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. This entire, this entire chapter here, chapter 2, it speaks of a love that can only come from Jesus Christ. It can only come from the one who laid down his life for you and for me. It can only come from the king who left behind everything to rescue his bride, to give his life for the church. Oh, mm, hallelujah, praise God. He who bled, he who bled for you, beloved. Who else can speak to you this way? For not even your spouses. Mm. Your heavenly bridegroom. Mm. The sonnet maker of sonnets. Mm. Hallelujah. He is a sonnet himself, isn't he? Hallelujah. Praise God. He is a sonnet in himself, a heavenly sonnet. If there ever was a sonnet, he is the sonnets. Hallelujah. He is poetry mm, in motion. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, see how the Holy Spirit just praises Jesus Christ and uplifts him and glorifies him and exalts his holy name. Listen, listen. Do not forget the name of your beloved. Do not forget the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is saying, Speak the name of your beloved. Speak the name of your beloved. If you are experiencing spiritual warfare, speak the name of your beloved. Use the name of your beloved. For the devils, they hate the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy despises the name of Jesus Christ because they are subject to that name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
O beloved. A lot of you are experiencing spiritual warfare. Why should the bride suffer? Why should the bride be living as a slave? No, you are not a slave, says the Lord. You are free, my love. Come away. Come away with me, says the Lord. He is beckoning us, beckoning us to come away with him. Mm, praise God. Hallelujah. I pray this message has blessed you, beloved. I pray that it has helped you see your Lord. Your Lord is not, it's not what religion paints him out to be. Often I think that religion paints Jesus Christ in a black canvas, really. You listen, beloved, not even the word God can describe the indescribable. It is, it is impossible to describe what Jesus is, who Jesus is, who the Father is. We have beautiful words inspired by the Holy Spirit here in the Book of Solomon, in the Song of the Song of Solomon, but Oh, even the words fall short of the beauty of our King, our Beloved. And I pray that tonight's message oh, caused your heart to leap as John leapt in the womb of Elizabeth when he heard the voice of Mary. Mm, the voice of Mary indicating that the Lord, the Lord who was growing inside of Mary's belly, he had arrived, the King, the Savior of mankind. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray it has blessed you. Keep it in your hearts and examine those chambers of, those secret chambers of imagery. If the Lord is seeking, the Lord is seeking those who love him and he's looking through the lattice, showing himself, knocking on your door. Open to him. But remember, there is no room for idols. There is no room. For the Lord shall not share his glory with anyone. Those who the nations call gods that are not gods. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us examine ourselves with tonight's passage, passages that we have read. I thank you so much for coming in, for tuning in. And I praise God for each and every one of you, our newcomers coming in. Thank you for, thank you for listening. Thank you for your support, for coming in and receiving your hot roll, your sweet, your sweet roll, your hot coal. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We will continue with the Song of Solomon. Um, and the Shulamite series, but in Spanish, coming up. And also, we will continue speaking on narcissistic abuse. It has been a difficult, um, a difficult time to be able to get narcissistic abuse in uh, the, um, the episode for Spanish, which is intimacy with narcissists, it's, it's been difficult, it's been a fight, but it is coming, it is coming, I promise, and it is a very important one to be, de to, I've delivered it in English, and now it is time to deliver it in Spanish, it's very important, and I know the enemy's been fighting me on that, but we have to learn battle strategy and know exactly what the enemy we have to know how our enemy works. We are not ignorant to the machinations of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. So more of that will come. Please, um, if you'd like, follow me on my Instagram page at Goodly Iridescence. Follow me. Subscribe on YouTube. There are um, videos being released every day, including these podcast episodes. Also, I offer free conference calls in Spanish and English weekly, Tuesdays for English and Spanish, um, Wednesdays for Spanish. And also, um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to subscribe on YouTube. Feel free to follow on Facebook. 
I'm also on TikTok, um, at Goodly Iridescence on TikTok. There's a lot going on, and I know the enemy has been battling me, and I have been battling my own spiritual warfare, but, but you need, and I need, we need to be as coals, just giving each other warmth as our Lord speaks to us, beloved. But remember, this podcast exists to edify you and to help you come out of the Valley of Dry Bones, but do not neglect, do not neglect your relationship with the Lord. Go to Him in the secret place. Come away with Him. Speak to Him. Open to Him. And receive from the Holy Spirit what the Father wants to deliver, to release into your spirit. It is a time where the enemy is, listen, it is urgent. And this is why the Holy Spirit has had me deliver messages on um, spiritual warfare. It is a time where the enemy is ramping up, ramping up. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost right now. He is ramping up his own battle tactics. We cannot go to sleep. We cannot sleep in the garden of Gethsemane. Listen, we have to be awake. We have to be alert. And I pray, I pray that, that for each and every one of you listening, the Lord equips you. The Lord strengthens you. Say, I am strong in Jesus Christ. I am strong in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do not pray from a place of lack, from a place of lack, beloved. Pray from a place of gratitude and abundance and prosperity. Jesus Christ is your prosperity. Jesus Christ is your abundance. Jesus Christ is your Alpha and your Omega. Hallelujah. Do not go to God as if you were paupers. Go to God as kings and queens that you are. And remember, be anxious for no thing, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. It's Philippians 4, 6. You are not paupers. Do not go to God like beggars. But as the royalty that you are. Hallelujah. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Grace. I'm a life coach. Also, if you're interested, I'm offering free 30-minute consultations on life coaching. I offer coaching on faith, on self-growth, on self-love, on body love, on self-empowerment. All of these things that um, are just, especially self-love and, and body love. So very important. Listen, body love is so important. I, I think sometimes it's underestimated. Um, and especially, uh, it, I think it gets lost in translation sometimes with, with, uh, with this... Uh, narcissistic view on on body image and you know going to the gym and all those things it's all very important and eating healthy and working out is very important but um, no matter where you are in your journey and your health journey right now it's very important that you love yourselves that you love yourselves right now as you are that you are able to go no matter what the scale says no matter what the mirror says it's important that you learn to love yourselves as you are, as you make your journey to progress and to better your health and to reach optimum health and, and do all those things that you, you have your goals. Each and every one of you have your goals. And if you don't, maybe it's time to set goals as well. It's very important to take care of our bodies. I am learning this as well, and that's why I'm teaching on it. Body love is very important, beloved, the Lord has revealed. Not, not, be, not because of the way that the world sees it, the narcissistic way the world sees it, but because your body is, what's going, is what carries you. It is the vessel that carries you, the essence of you, your spirit man and your soul. Listen, if you are ashamed of your body, if you, are, um, if you have been shamed to to hate your body or to disdain your body, stop. Because these are tactics from the enemy. Don't you see that if you hate your body, you go into hiding? And that is what I did for a very, very long time, and that's why I am disclosing it. 
I hid for a very long time because I hated myself. I hated everything about myself from a, for, 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 ever since I could remember. And the Lord has revealed that it is a tactic of the enemy to shame you into hating your body so that you hide. Why is it important for him that you hide? So that you do not come out in your purpose, that you do not step out in your purpose in confidence and courageous and live for your purpose and for the kingdom of the Lord. And so body love is very important, beloved. If any of you are struggling with that, I fully understand. I completely understand it. And I also sympathize with you. So I am offering free 30-minute consultations on any of those things. If you are interested at all in life coaching. And life coaching, a life coach is a motivational friend. Somebody who is there to root you on, to be your personal cheerleader, but also someone who holds you accountable for anything that you have set a, as a goal for yourself to help you achieve your goals. Not just to talk about them, but to help you achieve them. And I know that I'm working towards my own goals, and I have my own coach. Um, but it's very important, beloved. It's very important to be good stewards of what the Lord has given us. And that's something that he teaches me every day. So I am learning it along with you. This is my journey as well as yours, but each and every one of us have a different and unique and beautiful individual journey in the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Until I see you all again with our um, Serie de Sulamita, I praise God for each and every one of you. Be blessed. Be highly favored in our Lord. Remember, he sits on the throne. He looks, he sits on high, but he looks low. And he sees your situation, beloved. He sees what you are going through and he will not abandon you. He will not discard you as the world discards, beloved. He will not discard you. Do not turn your backs on him and keep your faces on him as Israel did. Because that is what Israel did. They turned their backs on him but they kept their faces towards him so that they could call out to him only when they were in times of need. No, beloved. We fall in love with our beloved bridegroom in the wilderness. What use is it entering the promised land and receiving everything he has promised and to forget about him? No, beloved. No. Let us not be like Israel. So the Lord wants us to focus this month on falling in love with him in the wilderness. Praise God. I love you all. Until we meet again, Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega. Oh, the beginning and the end, forevermore. Shalom, Salah.